Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and I'm just sitting here listening to the wind and the the crickets and or frogs, whatever the, the night noises are in the background. This is, uh, what did I say, welcome to RimWorld yet? I don't know. Alpha 13 and Cougar's Hope, but just looking here at Radar, who's having a bad day. <laughs> He's gone berserk. I don't think we've had a character go berserk yet in this series. I'm real careful with them, but I've been kind of uh, lazy lately about watching their mental health, and this is what I get. He's sitting here watching for targets with his pistol out. He's had it. <laughs> Needs, though, when he's done with this little episode, he's shooting back into uh, good territory again. We just got to get him through this. Don't want him harmed or anybody else harmed because I want to get all these colonists off this planet someday. Now let's talk about Radar. Radar's wife, I am well lover in this case, Legua, Elephant Seal. So he's tribal, means he's from either the City at the Tree or the Grey Mouse Cambier, and no, or the Bear of the Ridge. So these two are tribes. That's an outlander town. Okay, so his significant other probably came in that raid with him, and we took her out. And let's see, needs. Ah, oh, not gonna berserk thoughts. We can't read what is going on right now, and in, uh, in his mind, it was a negative twenty-five for that, and that was due to last for over a season. So this is going to be an issue for a while. Now, last episode I was talking a lot about some of the comments that uh, that Carrie had given me to, to take a look at. And one of them I didn't catch because it was the very last line of, of a long note. It suggested locking somebody in, basically pulling a Cathra. Locking somebody in with nothing to do but smooth the floors. So that's one way to get the smoothing done, at least in these two rooms and a little bit there. Um, but in this case, Radar had this room, very ugly, which added to the problem. In other words, Manuel may also have uh, have uh, some issues that we need to take a peek at before we get going. Where is he at? Let's find him this way. Right there. Needs. He's doing great. Sowed a plant times 20. What the world needs is more plants. Oh, wait a minute here. That's where the green thumb comes in. I was surprised that growing didn't have any passion next to it as a result of green thumb. Now we know how that works. So Manuel really likes to sow plants. <laughs> Tons of joy, feeling great. My rival died. Oh, that's interesting. That's something that Vapa is dealing with, with someone that he's, I think, just uh, uh, recruited that has one of his other characters as a rival, because that character did basically what happened here. Somebody shot Radar's lover, probably from Mars, but he doesn't have listed any rivals, because that maybe wasn't quite the, the thing in Alpha 13 that it is in 16. But, um, Manuel, do we know who the rival was? It may have happened even before he came into this colony. That's very possible. But, look at this. There are really no positives. Yet. Radar 2. Hasn't really made any friends yet. And that's one of the problems with the Night Owls. Is that they're on their own through the night. Typically, radar's days have been messed up lately, which has also led to this problem. But um, um, they don't get to be around the whole group all of the time. So they don't get the social interaction, which gives them mood boosts, which help them out. So that is a problem. We also have a below 50% Synthread t-shirt. That could be adding to all of this, though I'm really surprised he didn't just go and pick up another one. So I'm guessing that there aren't any other ones. That's a duster. Looking for shirts. I'm not seeing any. Okay. Let's. I'm trying to eliminate this from ever happening again. Shirts. 
T-shirt says there's 10 of them. Jackets. I am not seeing T-shirts. Oh, no, that's not it. That's not it. These are parkas. What am I not getting out of this? There. 18%. 9. Yeah, they're all shot. Okay. Now let's get... I believe it's Nettie working on more shirts. Let's take our count up to 15. In fact, let's add one more. We're, we're going to have to remember to fix this later. Uh, jackets, because when we sell all this stuff, suddenly she's going to be making 15 pairs of pants when we only need three. But let's kick some of these. Parkas were fine. Dusters were fine. Uh, toques, I think we're okay, but we could make one extra so we get some fresh stuff in that has that's 100 percent and that way characters like radar can just walk over and swap it out and not worry about it um did anybody i don't think anybody's got anything that they're being forced to wear right now i think it would say right here okay so with that i am guessing he's going to sit here for a while sometimes when they break they don't go violent they go Oh, how would you word it? Um, they just start wandering around chasing chickens and tossing their clothes to the side and, and run naked through the woods. So that's what they do sometimes. He's decided to uh, uh, to go hunt something. Oh, man, he's attacking Norman. Okay, so we're going to have to... Or, or Norman's over here. How do we deal with that? Norman was attached to Rokes. Rokes is where? Did he go to get steel? Where's Rokes? You're over here. You're working. Why is Norman not with Rokes? I wonder. Hmm. Now, I've assigned him to. Is, is that the same thing as bonded to? Uh, where's Klaus? That's one way to answer that. Let's go to Spirit, who we know is actually bonded to Klaus. Okay, I'm not seeing Klaus here. Is there any kind of a mention? Bond, Spirit. Okay, so Rokes, no bond. Okay, so he's assigned to but he's not necessarily bonded to so he's not necessarily going to always be with him okay that's that makes sense i can't think of anything to do here we could just try to go knock him out that may be the way to do it i just got to make sure it's somebody who doesn't have a i can't have rogues do it who's got a gladius i need everybody else to do it in mass that's probably the answer okay um, actually, someone here is nearby. First of all, let's go melee attack. Who else can get out quickly? Natalia. Draft. Melee attack. Anybody else already down here? Okay, who's near this door? You guys. Come down here. And I can't do that. So, Nettie, come... There we go. Melee attack. Brand, I'm hoping that Radar isn't going to start shooting at them. Rokes, I cannot ask to do that. Um, Cassie can get out just as fast as Natalia, so we'll have her do it as well. And actually, Dwayne, where are you? You get the fastest run speed. You could probably make this distance as fast as any of the rest of them. All right. Between all of that, let's see if we can not get killed and knock Radar out, put him in a hospital bed, and kind of ground him to the hospital bed for a while. He's not shooting. That's good. Norman is running. Klaus, boom. Boom. Okay. Don't want to hurt Radar. We just need to, to hit him upside the head with a 2x4. And, okay. What we got going? Lots of bruises. Colonist needs rescue. Radar. Okay. Needs treatment. Lots of treatments and a rescue. Now, first of all, 
everybody over here. Let's undraft. Okay. Now, who best? Probably Dwayne. You got to go there anyway. Um, let's rescue Radar. There we go. All right, that's taken care of. And there's a pistol to get put away. Is that enough for now? I think so. I was talking about popping the box there. I delayed that because we were going to have to pop a radar. But... And he did get the good bed. Good. Alright. Rabbit, let's tend to radar first. He really got beat up. Treat radar for me. I'm a little worried, though. What did this say, anyway? Who just gone berserk. Okay. I'm a little worried that we're going to do this just as the next raid comes in. So I'm going to put this off for now. And let's think about other things. Like, Roke's doing this job as soon as he gets a meal tomorrow. Otherwise, let's go ahead and queue up some more squirrels or rabbits. This is a safe area over here. Anything moving around? Actually, am I, I'm not paused, right? I have a habit of popping that that space bar. I'm looking for Z's. Little tiny Z's. Our radar is no longer incapable of walking. Hunter lacks weapon. I want to make sure that doesn't mean he's going to jump up and start doing his thing again. All right, we're looking good here. Let's let's watch this. Oh, great medicine there. You're in good shape. Here comes Michael, who's going to help out tending Norman. Good. <clears throat> Rabbit is resting. Now let's let's finish the job here. Let's see. Klaus had. Just a couple of fists, bruises. These don't really need treatment, but... All right, let's just do it. Cargo pods. Should have waited on that, but I wanted to make sure that the gut worm is being taken care of. All right. Hunger rate times two. Next treatment, 3.3 .3 hours. I guess there wasn't a treatment needed there. Rabbit's going back to sleep because he's still within his window of 10 to 2 a.m. 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. to be triggered to go to sleep. He'll sleep now until his rest bar uh, needs. So he gets up to here or something else gets critical and wakes him up. Uh, Where would the cargo pods go? And did we ever get? We didn't. Are these guys degrading yet? They're not. Norman is fully healed. Good. You have been taken out by a bear, most likely. We'll haul you in for food. And speaking of food, cargo pods, too. Too much going on. Yeah, what a mess. Meals are fine. Let's... We did take... Let's take these down to even 40. In fact, I even take it down to 30. And let's take the better meals up. I did that the opposite. Fine meals are what I want. Let's go this route. Add another 25 to that. 55, 80. I want mostly fine meals. In fact, do we want to go into lavish meals? I mean, we've got more f food than we can store. Growing season is just beginning and the freezer is still over half full. Let's play with the idea of lavish meals. We're not paused, right? Oh, I can't change that while I'm in this mode. We're paused. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so fine meals. Let's take you to... Where's my count here? Right there. 24. No, 56. 31. 30 fine meals. Okay. And we're going to leave simple meals suspended for good. We're going to add lavish meals. And detail. So lavish meal takes a lot more work to make. Very complex meal. <clears throat> Combination of raw meat and raw plant uh, ingredients. So we have to have both. And much of the ingredients are wasted. Really? Okay, cooking 10. Versus fine. Work amount 8. Oh, cooking skill of 10. And 6. They get a much bigger boost to morale, though. That's the thought. 
So back into this. I'd say we're going to do it for a while. Give this a try. We want to drop on floor. We want to do it until we've got... Where are we at? 10, 35. And what else did I set for these other ones? 50% or better. If that may, means anything here, I don't know if it does. I'm not going to allow rotten. And skill level of 10. We do qualify for that, right? I, I think it wouldn't let us if we didn't. Natalia is cook. You are a 16. Wow. And rabbit is a 14. Yeah, we can do that. And we want that to be first. Where am I? Up here. Bills. So top of the list. First thing you're going to do are top off all of our lavish meals. Then we're going to go to fine meals. And we're not going to do simple anymore. Right? No. We're going to take simple, though, down to... Oh, like... 30 as well. And that way brand can still pop in there and practice cooking on simple meals. Okay, let's do that again over here. So we're going to add lavish details. No rotten. 50%. Eh, we'll do 51. Um, that's fine. I, I assume that it automatically throws out human meat, right? Yeah. You have to choose to cook people. It doesn't uh, accidentally do it. No, don't clear all. Uh, okay, that's all done. Um, that's what I meant to do. So drop on floor. Let the haulers take care of it. We're going to do... Let's see. That one. 35 of them. Skill level 10. We'll even make it 11. We'll fix the other one too. That's everything that we selected on the other one, right? I think so. Close. Take you to the top. And we're going to take you down to 30. That is colonist needs treatment. It's probably gut worms. 30. All right. And let's go to this one real quick. I'm going to pause in case that wasn't gut worms. And it's someone being eaten by a bear or something. Um, lavish details. I want to take you up one more notch. It's not the minimum. Okay. Who? Dwayne is over here suffering from gut worms. Okay. All right. So that's going to get meals coming back in again. Who else can do butchering? Maybe that's where I need to be looking. Let's think about that. And we are morning yet. Where's a Rokes? Rokes is still sleeping. Okay. Who else can cook? Actually, there's all kinds of them. But who do we want to up their, their likelihood of doing some cooking? Who has some passion? That's the other way to look at it. Bran did have some passion. That is his number two job after wardening. Who else? Passion here at Natalia. Okay. And then we have passion at Radar. That's interesting. Let's do that for a while. Uh, no, we'll make it his first two. So he can still go out and hunt. Because he really liked hunting. Where is Radar now? He's still here. Needs. He's back with us again. Good. And the negative 25 is gone. Social. Lover. Dead. I wonder if that somehow reset everything. We'll see if it comes back. He's had his sleep disturbed so many times that's getting him a little angry, but uh, he's back with us again. So good news there. But something like this. Architect floors smooth. Let's play with this idea. Rokes is up. Where is Rokes at? don't see him here. Let's find him this way. Let's experiment with this. Rokes, you should be up above here. You're over here, consuming a simple meal. <sighs> I hate when they do that. No. Let's 
haul this in. All right, Eric is done researching. Let's eat a real meal. Although it'd be nice to get this table done. That would take care of it. But let's eat a real meal. Then I'm going to have you in here. Has anybody fed radar? Yeah. In here. Fail to recruit hippo. Um, eating a meal. And then I'm going to have you in here smoothing the floors. Speaking of hippo, I have left one female character and one male character asking to be part of the series. So there's still one of each yet to, to, uh, to add to the ranks here. Radar is out. He's cloud watching. Needs. All right, we got our radar back. Great. Rokes, you're eating a fine meal. Good. And you've got dentures, which means you're eating at a faster rate. Your bionic jaw there, right? You're the one with the dentures? Yeah. All right, you, I want you to go here. Let's see how this works. We're going to forbid this once you get in. And we're going to... He won't do it. <laughs> no, he will. Okay, I'm wrong. It doesn't look like he's doing anything. But he is smooth on the floor. Okay. Let's not forget about Rokes. What was the, uh, the cow... What's the cattle noise I'm getting here? I mean, that's what the boomalos make, but they're a long way away. Is there anything happening here that I don't know about? Did a boomalope come to join us? Does Snookums make, does Spirit make that noise? Maybe. But that's how you get your floor smooth. That's how you force them to do it. Okay. So we need to keep an eye on, on Rokes. Wow, that's loud. That must be a spirit. But, um... Um... He enjoys construction. So he's actually going to benefit from this. As weird as that sounds. He's got no negatives. He's in great shape. Alright, so let's try to remember that Rokes is in there. Otherwise... I guess let's let them do some uh, some hunting. Brand is doing this. Can I get Radar to do this? Brand, you are making kibble. Um, let's just leave you there. Where is Radar right now? Radar. Oh, he's still cloud watching. All right, we'll leave him alone. I want to see if he will do some butchering and if he enjoys it. So, Brand, you are now making kibble. Somebody else will grab that one and haul it here real quick. I said everybody to ones to hunt, but when there's no hunting, they're just going to go about their normal routines. So that shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, every episode I regret not having done this when it turns out that nothing happened. But I know as soon as I do it, everything will happen. That's just how RimWorld works. So Radar is available now. No, he's resting. That was another issue. I thought about how I could have done this better. I could have just given him another room and taken someone else who is just naturally chipper to uh, uh, to have that room. But if Radar no longer has the negative 25, I think we no longer have an issue. It kind of looks that way. I see Nettie's hauling, so she's getting this area cleared out. Let's get Nettie to haul this stuff specifically. Radar, can you haul? Not haul plasteel. You can haul these. Okay. Let's get your room cleaned up. Because all this junk in here actually doesn't seem to harm that much. Okay. Let's turn this off. Cathra, you're cleaning dirt. Okay, great. Nettie, leave that there. And let's haul this one. No place to put it, because we've already filled our one slot over here, and nothing else will accept it, huh? Yeah. Okay, temporarily, you are going to accept Plasteel. Okay, let's get Nettie to haul this out of here. Radar to haul this out of here. This door is not supposed to be open, so you are lock open. And 
Just grab that space right there. Nettie, grab this one. And radar right there. Grab this one. <clears throat> Nettie, let's get that door to work. And radar, as soon as you get out into here, you're free. Go get a rest. And now you got a cleaned up room, except for a little bit of dirt. All right. Radar is done. Rokes is doing a good job over here. There is a lot of mooing over here. Must be the alpacas. Uh, needs, you're still in great shape. Your joy's going up. Yeah, we'll just leave you alone there. All right, we're getting everything replanted. Things are going well. What could possibly go wrong? Brand failed to recruit. We do need to get this meat in. Yeah, still here. And it's not degrading. How come some... Well, okay, it does spoil in a day. There is that. But it doesn't degrade. That is really odd. Who? Dwayne, you're a night owl. Leave you alone. Oh, Radar's a night owl. That's right. It is daytime. Yeah. Michael should be in bed, too, and he is. Okay. So who has a good run speed that would love to go and pick up some horseshoe hair meat. There, Cassie. I know you would love to do that. What are you doing right now? You're dropping that stuff off. Let's stop right there so you don't actually put it in there so the space in the storage yet. And come and grab a bunch of these. Okay, who else can do that? Eric is working over here, and I'm very thankful. Love to get this one done. I'm going to leave him alone. We do need to check on our predators, too. Especially down here. We're going to get this meat. So on the way, we have this guy. <clears throat> Probably find this episode. I don't see any other bears in this corner, which means this might be a great place to go after some uh, some hares. Do that again. There we go. Let's set you guys to hunt. Any squirrels down here? Right there. Bunch of them. Hunt. Alright, so Cassie... Hmm... How's your shooting skills now? You're not going to increase that quickly because... You'd rather use a sword, but you don't have a passion for it. Okay. But you'll come right back out. There's plenty of targets. And that will help spread these guys out a little bit so they're not all shooting at the same time and shooting each other. That's done. Okay. Klaus is coming down next. So I need to bring these guys in. Monkey hide. Otherwise, what is happening? <clears throat> Who are our miners now? Klaus, but he's hunting. Okay. And then Michael, who's sleeping. All right. Still looking for the elusive gold vein. There are no animals immediately near the bears. Uh... Okay, we're not going to shoot each other. <laughs> okay, success. Did I just hear a bear noise? I thought I did. You're fine. Yeah, that must be the, uh, the alpacas. Whenever I've heard them, I've thought it was the boomalopes, but quite possibly the alpacas were mixed in with the boomalopes when I was hearing it. You're hunting that one. Although we got boomalopes right here. New uh, 
herd came in. Okay. Hunter lacks weapon. Oh, I forgot about that. Radar needs his pistol back. I'm assuming someone would have brought it in. They didn't. Equip pistol. And this did get built. I didn't kill that one. Hmm. Okay. Let's deconstruct it. Unfortunately, I don't want them built till the walls are built. Ah, right here too. Uh, cancel you, cancel you. I miss any more? So that's the plan of where they're going to go, but I need an enclosure before that happens. Okay. So, i got to check on Rokes again, but nobody is shooting each other here, right? Good. Catherine got hers. Okay, how did Rokes fare through all of this? He is almost done. He is done. Good job. And he needs a uh, needs a quick vacation. There you go. He he wants so badly to go deconstruct that thing. He's been pacing back and forth to go and take that thing down. <laughs> How are we over here? I did assign marble to be uh, built or uh, created at the uh, stone cutting table. So I'm going to build these out of marble. So get this done and it'll all be stone over here. So Catherine's saying hi to Rokes. Haven't really checked to see the social end of things lately. Let's kind of buzz through and see if there's anything interesting going on. Any slights slighted by Vapa. Radar was. Um, Manuel had a deep talk with Klaus and a nice chat with Rokes but was insulted by Eric. <laughs> um, nothing. Tr okay, Brand is trying to convince Hippo of uh, joining the colony. Brand failed. Otherwise, Eric and Manuel are having some troubles. I expect he's down here. This is Eric. I'm not seeing... Oh. The list scrolls. There we go, at the very bottom. Okay. Klaus had a deep talk with Manuel. Okay. That's what's going on there. What's the last spirits over there? Michael, Klaus, Vapas getting in on this. Got to end this episode soon. We're getting more of our mining done, which is really good. Let's make sure that there's no roofs to collapse in this area. I keep up with that. That needs to be mined. <clears throat> I left a few squares here and there to, in case the roof issue is a problem, to act as support posts. So I made sure not to take everything down. You are limestone wall. Bunch of walls over here too. That's one way to get some quick stone for things. Bear needs... You're going to be an issue next episode. This still hasn't been built. None of the... Oh, we're starting to lay out the walls here. All right. So I'm guessing, you know, based on the closest one to where they are when they get the command, these should get taken care of. Then we get back to this over here. This one did get done, except... Need to orders, structure, granite, fill in that space. And all of these are ready. Okay, I think it's time to call this one done. I still don't know whether to do this next time or not. I mean, we've been quite some time now since an attack. There's got to be one coming. So I'm, I need to, a clear pause between attacks. I need an attack to come in in which nothing bad happens then I know that we'll uh, uh, we'll be in good shape to do the other one. One thing I do want to do though, this needs to be built so we can get more of the butchering done. Radar is butchering. Great. And his needs, he's in good shape. You want one, one tactic to use here 
Rather than have Rokes go and get the materials and deal with this, he will build anything that already has the materials there. He may be, and he's gone to bed. So you get somebody who doesn't have good construction skills, but is marked as potential. So I got fours on everybody else. They can bring the materials over. When they're done, they'll go off and do their other job they want to do, but they can bring the materials over. When Rokes, Rokes wakes up, he's going to go take care of all the jobs that have the materials already brought over. So who's out or up that wouldn't mind bringing some materials over? And as I say that, I'm realizing almost everybody's asleep. Natalia doesn't haul. Cassie. Cassie, she's kind of low girl on the totem pole right now. She gets all the jobs that no one else wants. You can bring materials over there and get this loaded up so that Rokes will want to do it. So next time, we'll try to remember to get back into that. Otherwise, I assume we've got a raid coming in. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure. Over here, we're fine. Yeah, lots of plasteel coming. Anyway, I think this hasn't been all that exciting, but... Not all of them roll the dice of being exciting. Some of them are too exciting. We'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.